JWST is giving us no time to breathe, straight after the first full colour images. They've given us some bonus shots of Jupiter, Europa, and even a comet flying through the solar system. They just gave out images, spectra, and data from the commissioning period of the telescope, which includes these images of Jupiter. Just take a look at the planet here. We see the familiar Great Red Spot. This is the massive hurricane that's bigger than the Earth and we see the normal stripy bands of Jupiter too. These actually come about because Jupiter rotates so fast. A day on Jupiter is just 12 and a bit hours, which for such a huge planet is kind of crazy. This separates out all of the gases in its atmosphere according to their densities, giving it its stripy look. We also see one of Jupiter's biggest moons Europa over here too. It's the black spot backlit by a nice starburst effect. We can even see Europa's shadow here, just to the left of the great red spot, which is a pretty cool detail to notice. This moon is particularly interesting because it's a great candidate for hosting extraterrestrial life due to huge oceans under its surface. And I've also made a recent video to discuss recent findings of structures from Europa found in Greenland. This image was shot in near infrared light using Webb's NERCAM instrument and the storm and central band are so white purely because of the way the image here has been processed. In this other image we've seen, which uses the exact same wavelength filter, you can see it's not as washed out at all, and it's just because the images have been processed differently. I don't yet know what this black object here is, but when I do, I'll leave a comment down below to let you all know as well. In this other version, it's also easier to spot a couple of Jupiter's other moons as well, and even Jupiter's ring. Yes, Jupiter has a ring too. It's even clearer in this image, taken in slightly longer wavelengths. You can see the rings, and notice too that the north and south poles look slightly elongated. We think this is due to infrared emission coming off the planet at these two poles. All the black dots, I think, are just artifacts, so don't worry about them. These images are just for calibration and haven't been processed nearly as much as the colour ones we saw before, so they aren't nearly as polished. We can compare these images with Juno images, the dedicated Jupiter orbiter taking photos from right next to the planet. And while we do see some impressive details in the web ones, it's not the same. Like I say though, Juno is way closer to the planet and has been polished way more, and probably used much longer exposure times too. These ones from Webb are only a minute long, so over time we should see even more details pop out. We actually got a few movies as well, one of Jupiter and Europa moving through the sky, proving that Webb can use guide stars to follow things, even when in the presence of really big, bright things like Jupiter. We also saw a little movie of an asteroid called 6481 Tenzing moving across a background of bright stars, also taken by NERCAM. The asteroid is the small bright blob moving downwards, and it lives in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. This, along with the Jupiter tests, were done to prove how well Webb can track things, even really fast things. In fact, it was able to track objects that are moving at over twice the speed it was designed to. While it was designed to track the top speed of Mars, which is 30 milli arc seconds per second, it was actually capable of following tiny asteroids moving up to 67 milli arc seconds per second. The units of milli arc seconds per second here don't really matter too much, just know that it's doing twice as well as we'd hoped for. We also know that proper science observations of Jupiter have now begun for real, and with all of these images, we've seen that JWST can image almost anything, from the most distant galaxies in the universe right down to our planetary neighbours that we can see with the naked eye. I can't wait to see what's next. Until next time, stay safe team. I'll see you soon. Bye!